Hello and thank you for tuning in to Embrace My Melanin. It's your girl Rochelle and in today's video, yes as you saw by the title, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Dior Backstage uh, Face and Body No Powder, No Powder. That is a whole lot, a whole lot. of The Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, No Powder. Guys, I have had this right here quite literally, I've had it for a year, over. A year now and I am just trying this out listen here I know this is not a new product but it's still new in my collection along with a good bit of other stuff so I'm gonna be kicking out a lot of reviews coming up so if you would like to see my thoughts and opinions on the Dior backstage powder no powder please keep on watching <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get started it is late in the day I got a late start today guys it's Sunday and I was like you know what let's just let's just let's just chill today let's just chill today I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on with me this summer since you guys haven't gotten many videos from me since I announced that I'm back <sighs> okay so I'm using the um, Lancome La Base Pro Primer. I like this primer because it's just silky and smooth and I just feel like it'll help the uh, powder, no powder glide on a lot easier, okay? So, so far this summer, y'all, this summer didn't like me. This summer did not like me at all. When I tell you that, I mean that okay so quite literally I think right after I put out the video or I think like a couple weeks after I put out the video I got sick like sick like my whole entire body everything my body said abort mission and everything came out okay so I was sick for like a good 24 hours everything just evacuated and then I was dehydrated like it was bad it was it was really really bad and it took like a week for me to really get my body up and like just up and functioning again it was it was crazy right so I did that I did that and then literally two weeks after that I went out of town I did a little mini little quick vacation down in Orlando me and a couple friends went down there excuse me while my eye itches me and a couple friends went down there and the day that I came back well I should say the day after I came back I caught a head cold like a, a good old-fashioned pre panorama head cold and I'm like Two weeks ago, I was I was I was dehydrated and sick. Two weeks ago, why I got head cold now? And it took me a week to go over that. Now, mind you, what happened was we went to a water park. My hair was wet and all that stuff, and I pretty much kept it in my twist and kept um, a wrap on my head. I'll insert a picture so y'all can see what I look like in my wrap. Okay, <laughs> but. I uh, just wrapped it up and when I came home it was so hot that I just turned on the fan in my room the AC's on turn on the fan in my room and I went to sleep in front of the fan now mind you I'm not thinking that my hair is wet right I'm not thinking that but I forgot like you know and mind you I've done it before I've done it before where I washed my head wrapped it up put it in conditioner wrapped it up you know and I would turn the fan on and I would be fine However, I was dehydrated and recovering from that just not even two weeks ago. Didn't even think of that. Did not even occur to me how those two would correlate and how my body would just suffer just that quick on quite literally me getting sick and getting a cold. And it was... Ugh, it was horrible okay I'm gonna go in real quick with the um with the um Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer right here I got mine in the shade 80 NN and since I'm putting on a powder foundation I'm just trying to um like some of the discoloration I'm just gonna straighten that out real quick okay Just 
school, but don't do that. What am I? Happy presentation. Anyway, so, so I got sick from that and that took me out and it, it, it lasted a week and it's like really like it was annoying more than anything, right? So after that, like quite literally, not even a full two weeks after that, I went out of town again. This time I went out of town with family, okay? First night out of town, I twisted my knee. Y'all, let me tell you something right now. Now, I've twisted my knee before, but not to the point to where I ended up on crutches. And this time I ended up on crutches. Like, it was like, holy smokes. Like, just, just shenanigans. Just, just shenanigans. It, 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 it was, it was just a mess. Just a mess. I'm like, here I am. I got sick, then I got sick, then I'm on crutches. Quite literally, all of that happened within a month and a half. Within a month and a half, I was like, I just, I, at this point, I just need to stay home. I just need to stay home. I don't need to go anywhere else. Just, just go home, stay home, okay? So it, it was, it was just annoying. It was just so annoying. It And it was, uh, it's like, I, like quite literally, I was on crutches for two weeks two weeks I was like at that point I was like okay Rochelle just sit down relax get on your feet when you're ready to get on your feet and just take your time don't push it don't rush it thank you so much I would like to say thank you so much to Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, there was two people that said, literally when I made my um, comeback video, there was a couple people that literally said, Rochelle, take your time. It was Lori. It's Lori's life. I miss Lori. Hey, how you doing, boo? And um, I haven't seen a video from Lori in a minute. Girl, come on back now. I miss you, girl. <laughs> and um, she probably saying the same thing about me. Like, girl, where you been? Mm. <laughs> but Lori, and there was another young lady that said, listen here, take your time. Take your time, come back when you're ready. We miss you, but take your time, rest up. I'm now looking at that like I should really should have listened. I should listen, I should listen to um, you know, my peoples, okay? I'm going in with uh my Sephora brushes, the Sephora foundation brush number 80. It's just a flat top kabuki, it's very, very dense, and I'm hoping that it really helps with um me um putting on the product on my face. So let's see right there. I'll get back to that story in a second. Okay, so looking at it off the ribbon, I will say this, it did not take long to put on this half of my face. It did not take long to put it on at all. But I can say, I can see why they say powder, no powder, because this is the side without any product, and this is the side with it. Now, I can tell this is not my perfect shade, but I can honestly see why they say powder, no powder, because it does make your, it does make your face look like it's just skin, but just a little, a little refined, a little better. I wonder if, I'm gonna take this, whoop, my big, big brush right here. And I'm gonna use this on my other side because that other brush was very, very dense and very, very um, packed. Like it should've been, a, this, like I said, it's a foundation brush, but it's not a powder foundation brush. So I'm just gonna see how a more of a airbrush brush does. Ooh. Okay, I like, I think I like the airbrush finish better. Think I do. Wow, that's pretty. 
Okay. We look in a... Okay. So I can say that I do like it better when I use more of a fluffier brush. It just looks like more product is on instead of it just being more airbrushed with this big fluffy brush right here. So... other just looks like a lot of product packed on top of each other but I'm gonna see if I could blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it out okay that looks better that looks better so if I had to make a suggestion don't use a packed brush like this I only use this because I thought that it would need the packing on, but really and truly, y'all, it does not. I would highly suggest that you get a uh, more of a fluffier brush like this, but like a fluffy dome brush like this, and then just swirl it really, 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 really good, and then just buff it easily. Just buff it into the skin because it is looking is looking beautiful and flawless and like i said it's not my perfect shade my perfect shade um i think in the foundation that i've thrown away um that i've thrown away now um in the liquid foundation it was if i'm not mistaken seven five in yeah it was seven five in and this one is eight in i can't remember what the shade was before this um i will put it up on the screen but I, it had to be too light because i purchased this in store so i was able to see the shades in front of me and there's not a lot of shades there might might be one after this shade i'm not 100 sure I'll, of course, I'll notate it and annotate it right here on the screen so you guys can see whether or not there is. But I, there might be one shade deeper. So if I didn't get that one, it might have been too dark. And the other one before, it might have been just a little bit too light. Because in the liquid, it was a beautiful shade, perfect shade. And I loved, absolutely loved that one. But most definitely, like I said, use a dome brush. a dome brush and it will just be absolutely perfect like this just looks this just looks good is that dry skin i have some dry skin on my nose me and this dry skin my skin has just been havoc with me being sick i've neglected it so much this summer that it's absolutely ridiculous like even with me not not even putting a lot of makeup on when i went out of town i did not put any makeup on i'm going to i'm going out of town to visit my sister um because she's trying on wedding dresses of course i had to be there for that but i'm i have to go there for that but even with um even when i go out of town for that someone tells me i'm not going to be wearing makeup i might put something on my face the day that i leave but not no, not not a whole lot a whole lot of chances are but i'll take my makeup bag just in case just in case um but um because we're going to be trying on bridesmaids dresses and and the whole nine and we're just gonna we're just gonna see what it do okay so here is the face with just the powder it looks really really good um now mind you guys it is late in the day it is now it is now 4 47 in the afternoon i am getting ready for church um is what i'm what i'm doing it's a little early i'm going to the evening service and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'm going to go ahead and finish up my face so you guys can see the final look and the final result and i will be right back <laughs> okay so here it is here is the final look right here okay i re um for the lips, just want to let you guys know, I use the Merit Lip Gloss again. And every single time I use it, I love it. I really and truly love it. But I'm just going for a really simple, easy, pretty girl look today. Today, this is what I call my pretty girl look, okay? It's a little hot in this room, excuse me. So if you see me sweating, 
that's what's going on okay all right but i am just gonna go on ahead and head on out i am going to church and like i said um well i didn't say but i chances are i won't come back on camera until after um after midnight yeah chances are i won't come back on camera until after midnight um and I will show you guys my end results so you guys will see this face for at least a good I would say at least a good four excuse me six at least a good six hour wear when I come back on camera so I will be right back <laughs> okay and here I am I am back and guys it is late so late that now it just turned into the next day is now monday morning now at 12 just past 12 o'clock in the morning okay but here is my face as you can see right here okay now i will say that i left off camera to finish my face it was 4 45 or something like that so I've had this face on for roughly uh, this foundation on for roughly just shy of or just over seven hours okay so I didn't want to wait any longer to get to the eight hour mark I was actually trying to do it at the six six and a half hour mark but time just got away from me when I got home so here you go okay now just to give you a quick overview again we are doing the Dior backstage face and um, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder right here. You can wear it um, as a setting powder or you can also wear it alone as a um, as a foundation. Now I did go back um, online to Sephora where I purchased it from last year and I read the specs on it real quick now I will say it is retails for $40 and there are 10 shades there is one shade deeper than the shade I picked up I picked up 8 in and um, the next shade down which is 9 in is the deepest shade so if you're a little bit deeper than me then there you go okay but I will also say this too which I just found out when I went back online is that all of the shades have a neutral undertone okay so if you're a little bit more warm or golden or olive in undertone um, then you won't have like you know multiple uh, multiple choices to pick from an undertone because all of them are neutral starting with zero in and ending with nine in so those are your ten shades right there as opposed to of course the um, backstage face and body liquid foundation which was an amazing one of my top five easily one of my top five um, liquid foundations okay and that is in 40 40 shades if I'm not mistaken like I said before I think my shade was that was seven five seven point five in if I'm not mistaken okay alrighty then so with this particular uh, powder no powder is of course a press powder um, formula is light coverage and a matte finish they say here is the weightless translucent powder that reduces shine sets makeup and warms the complexion okay and um, uh, they say it blurs the imperfections, uh, reduces shine, and evens out the complexion in a luminous matte finish. Um, and it's good for touch-ups, even no matter how many times a day, multiple times a day that you want to touch up your face, you can do that. I did not touch up my face um, today. Um, it was hot when I left, um, left the house. I left the house around about 5.30 to go to church. That's why I have on a new top. Okay, and um, I went out and that's why I've had it on all this time, okay? Now, I will say, like with the backstage uh, liquid foundation, it says that it's transfer proof and all that and water resistant and sweat proof and all that jazz, all that beautiful goodness, okay? However, with any dark product, of course, there's gonna be some transfer. And as you can see right here on my collar, there was some transfer that did um, that did happen. Um, I was over at somebody's house after uh, church. We were just chilling and relaxing or whatever. And I laid down on my friend's sofa. And of course, my head went to the shirt and 
there you go but that is to be expected however i was sweating today also and as you can see the the look if it's not matte matte but it's this is this is a powder that's multi-dimensional you can use it as something to blur your pores and use it as um as a uh powder as far as uh like you know a lightweight powder foundation but you can also just use it as a setting powder so there you go for that so i'm not sh i'm not surprised by the shine but it still looks oh so beautiful of course my nose my nose is a little shiny still you know but it's not horrible it's not horrible to the point to where like i'm a to total oil slick and it's been over seven hours so this truly is not bad not bad at all now i will say i did go back in to set just a little bit more underneath my eyes with a with a uh setting a setting powder just so that it didn't look so sunken so sunken in or whatever so that's why there's a bit of a brightness underneath my eyes if you see if you see that but other than that you know, now I will say my, my blush is dissipated, you know, but my bronzer is still still there and still pretty much on point, okay? But overall, this product, I like it and it's not bad at all. If you want something that's that's going to be easy to put on, blur it, like, you know, a quick, a quick five minute you know, five minute get ready with me looking, you're running out the door and you just wanna spruce it up just a little bit, blur your imperfections just a little bit, believe me, and it did. Now you can see, you can still see some of my hyperpigmentation and this is, on this side was a part where I used the um, big domed brush as a part, as far as this side over here, it covers up just as beautifully and just as smoothly on both sides. And you guys know, I used a much denser uh, brush on this side of my face over here because I thought it would need it but actually truly this big dome fluffy blush brush is what I would highly suggest if you're going to use this particular uh, powder foundation okay but overall overall I love it now I'm not going to add any more product onto this okay but I'm just going to see how it touches up let's see let's start with the forehead well no let's start with the nose because it's shiny Look at that. Look at that. Just a quick touch up and it looks so good, y'all. It looks so, so good. And no added product. No added product and it just real quick real easy beautiful still looks good still looks good so if you're a person that you don't like makeup you don't like a full on full coverage look you just want to just 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 give yourself just a little bit more of an oomph you would like this you would like this but the only downfall and like i said the only downfall is that they don't have a wide range of coverage that's the only thing with this is that the the, the the shade range is very limited especially in crazy it's just crazy especially after you had the liquid foundation that had 40 shades that was absolutely beautiful it's just absolutely beautiful but you have this that's so limited in, in, in the shade range, unfortunately, and in the undertones and, and, and all that jazz. But overall, if you're just looking for something that's gonna just, you just look at a spruce up and you're not that much of a heavy makeup person, but you want a really good powder that's gonna make you look beautiful throughout the day to make it really like a quick five, 10 minute face, I, I, I would highly suggest this. I would suggest this, not highly. I would suggest this right here, if, especially if you're looking for something that's just a little bit more, um, just a little bit more luxe. Like, you know, you're not looking for drugstore. You're looking for something like maybe to invest in. This right here is really good. This right here is really, really, really good right here. Okay? The price point is it's a pretty penny. Could have been a little bit cheaper. It could have been just, you know, just 30 
you know, some dollars, especially since the price range, I mean, the shade range is so lacking. However, not bad not bad at all okay <laughs> but that is it that is all for this video i thank you guys so much for watching please if you have not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below please and thank you and if you like me just a little bit go ahead and give me a thumbs up i thank you guys so much for watching remember stay blessed stay beautiful and please continue to stay safe we got some extra stuff floating in air Ha, 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 ha.